Is that you, Daenerys? You will not call me Daenerys. You will call me your queen. Now, I have something here. <laughs> Does it look legit? No, it looks so legit. Are Too you kidding legit me? To quit. Ooh, my hair's in my pin. <laughs> I didn't know that you were the Mockingjay also. <laughs> Is that Jon Snow? <laughs> I'm Jon Snow. Winter's coming. Winter always coming. It's just so cold. Because winter's coming. All right, on the reels. We're making a Kit Kat bar. All right, so the first step is to make the wafer cookies that are going to be inside of our Kit Kat bar. So that's prepared. We're going to take two cups of flour, our sugar, salt, baking powder, and vanilla, a stick of melted butter, and to this we're gonna add our egg yolks, one egg yolk at a time. Now we're just gonna mix this through until there aren't any dry parts. Once I had my batter, I took them out and pressed them out on the trays to make them the length and the width of my Kit Kat bars. I actually love my cupcake addiction. Elise, thank you for this template. So it's gonna be a little arts and crafts session now with JP. So all you need is an X-Acto knife and a manila folder. Hey JP, you having fun over there? Yeah, this is so much fun. I love cutting out letters. It was very challenging to use the X-Acto knife, but with persistence, with honor, with love, with life, the Kit Kat letters were complete. Test subject one is cooked. You can tell because it's golden brown along the edges. This is exactly what we're looking for. We'll be able to use them, cut them down, and, and create the right shape we need for the Kit Kat. We got the letters in. It was kind of a struggle because you gotta think backwards. It's so hard to do that. We didn't think backwards. We thought forward. And it flips this way and it flips like this. Okay. Yeah, I think we did this wrong. Then we realized we had to flip them around and move them. Whatever. We lay in a layer of chocolate right on top. Then we go in with Julia's perfectly cooked crispy wafer. Then we go in with another layer of chocolate, another wafer, another layer of chocolate, another wafer, and then we top it off with the rest of the chocolate. How could this go wrong? Please come out. Oh, it came out. Looks a little splotted. This whole thing looks splotted. And that is uh, due to us not tempering the chocolate. But does it really matter what it looks like on the outside? Well, technically yes, because of all of this work with the Kit Kat verbiage here. When you have a Kit Kat bar, what do you have to do? You have to break off a piece. That's right. So how are we gonna do that if they're already separated? You had a piece to break off. <laughs> we gotta put them together. We don't use glue in this kitchen, we use chocolate. That's how we get it to connect. Can I break you off a piece of my Kit Kat bar? Yes, please. Right. I've been waiting this whole video for you to say that, actually. Oh, it's so hard to break. Ugh! I can do it. This isn't working! Too thick! Oh, it's so hard to break! Slice me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Is this a fail? Ugh. Oh, yeah, you broke it. That's. No, give me one. Is this not the prettiest Kit Kat you've ever seen? <laughs> if you don't lick it, we can share that with our friends. This is the only part that mattered to me the entire time. We will rock back and forth. We're gonna get through this. Is this the greatest thing you've ever done? Mother of pearl, this knife is no longer sharp. This Kit Kat bar dulled my knife. Oh, oh, oh. Looks really bad. <laughs> oh no! Does that look better? No, that looks way worse. <laughs> the redeeming factor of this is the taste. It's good. It's really good. You did a really good job. How come you only say I do a good job when I fail? <laughs> Guys, it's Halloween and there's nothing scarier than the outcome of this recipe. <laughs> this time we're going to temper our chocolate first because we think it's going to make it look better. So I was actually about to make corn, and then I'm like, wait a second, why don't we just use this as a double boiler for the chocolate? Seems like it's gonna just work. put it on top. Don't want it to melt all the way. Once we see it mostly melted through, we're gonna take it off the heat. It's melting! Pull oh it. yeah, we gotta take it off. Ready? Yep. Yep. Going off. So tempering is just melting chocolate and stirring it a lot until the temperature gets cool enough. All right guys, and to make corn, you just take the husk off and pop them in boiling water. About five minutes. JP, don't tell people how to make corn on our channel. Then we cover it. Just keep stirring it. 
And then you won't have to let your hand go to the gym that day because <laughs> you'll be really tired. Guys, we purposely forgot to put the letters in because JP's not doing that again. What we're doing is we are covering the sides of the tin with chocolate. None of the cookie is gonna be showing on the outside because that will ruin it. Ooh, yeah. Perfect. Nice and wafer. How'd you do that? They look really good. Oh, it's perfect size too. They're in. Ooh, it's tempered. I think we're redeeming ourselves with this, JP. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful from scratch. I don't think you made enough wafers. You gotta bake more. You know what I even made? What? I made the plastic wrap it comes in. Okay, awesome. Thanks. That's a really good job. I gotta open that. Honestly, even tempering it now, it's making it easier to work with. <laughs> what the heck? What is this? You ate all of it? <laughs> Why are you sharing that with me? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> we are so not professional. That looks good. Appetizers are done, we're on the salmon, and we're also on to our a second attempt of this giant Kit Kat. <gasps> it didn't bloom. Oh it looks gorgeous. Oh, that's what, I wish it said Kit Kat on it. This is gonna be so easy to clean too. Boom, we did it. Following directions makes sense after all. It looks like a gold bar. It's not a gold bar, it's a Kit Kat bar. Okay, well, yeah, it looks like it's a Kit Kat bar. Second time's the charm, right? Second, yeah, we'll make that a thing. Ooh. Oh, I hear it. All right, move it open. Let's see the reveal. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. I really didn't think that we were gonna be able to make this turn out, JP. Proud of you. You've got great persistence. I was gonna give up. I was gonna call this a Kit Kat fail video, but not today. I don't feel like we failed. You don't have to get bothered with people coming up to you and saying, hey, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. You don't because you only have one and you don't have one to share. This is something I'm proud of, JP. Just gotta go on Snapchat, follow us on Snapchat. Can't forget Instagram, guys. You gotta see this thing. <laughs> That cut versus that cut was so different. Yeah. Did you know this was made out of like a bath, like the bath mat? Oh my god, this is a bath mat. It is a bath mat, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, listen, we have to stay in character. Bend the knee. The knees bent, my grace. Do I say my grace or my lord? My grace. I will- Why are you knighting me? I will knight, I don't know what that Here, means. Oh, no! Normally I use my dragons for that, but he gave me his sword, so. 